Hey, Chris here, doing a little unboxing, kind of set up a demonstration all in one here for the Azuno moisture meter. So this is uh, just like it sounds like, it's a moisture meter for wood and building materials. So just to tell you a little bit about it, it's the pin style, which you'll see when we go ahead and use this um, and I demonstrate it. Um, it comes with a self-testing uh, way to calibrate it before every use. Uh, you've got both the wood mode or the building materials mode, and then you have eight different scales on that wood mode. Uh, there's an audible alarm, and there's the ambient temperature. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual device. So the device is right here. comes with a nice little bag to keep it scratch-free and safe. comes with some good instructions, so that is nice to have too. All right, it is battery-powered. And it comes with the batteries there. You just have the little slip you're going to have to pull out to, so the batteries are active. Also on the back, you'll notice this is that key that tells you the different scales for the wood. So you have the different letters that correspond to different types of woods. And when we turn it on, it will default always to that A. But then you can switch it over. All right. So when we do turn it on, oh, wrong button, there we go. Power button's right here, same as the mode button. And right now it's in building mode, and we're gonna switch it to wood mode. All right, and then you saw that little A pop up in the corner. So it's gonna go ahead and, and be an A if we wanted to switch it to B, C, D, you know, through all your different ones. You can do that right there. Uh, it's back in A. You have your ambient temperature. You can switch it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then your hold button if you get a reading and you wanna hold it. Uh, first off, when you go to use it, you're going to want to always calibrate it. So we're going to pop the top off here. All right. These, um, you can leave those off once you start actually using it. But here's how you calibrate it. So on the back side of the top, you see these two little spots right here. You're just going to go ahead and push and hold these here. And you hear that audible noise. And that shows that you're where, you, where it needs to be for calibration, which is between... Uh, 16.6 and 20.6 so that is uh that ensures that it's calibrated and ready to work um, kind of a good measure is anything over 16 percent for wood um, has a high moisture value and it's going to beep at you and anything over 20 percent or equal uh, for building materials is a high value and that's going to beep at you so i'm just going to grab a couple different pieces of wood here um, and just show you what happens when we go ahead and measure it so we're gonna go ahead and push that in there and there you go you see our that's what our moisture level is there okay and then if we want to look at this one your moisture level and then again if I would have hit hold fast enough you can hit full hold and you can go ahead and have that reading you know held on the screen until you do another reading so it works very easy um, you know it's just a good tool to go ahead if you're looking for any areas around the house where you think the wood uh, there might be moisture in the wood, you know, especially on the exterior of the house. Um, if you're worried about water penetration, you want to kind of see how, how wet that wood is, then a tool like this is great. Um, this one's definitely a good value. Currently, it's a lightning deal, but even before the lightning deal, it's still a fairly good value at about $28.99 uh, on Amazon. So again, this is the Azuno moisture meter. So if you're in the market for something like this, this might be one to check out. Just push and hold the power button to turn it off. Thanks.